Ok, 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 I swear I didn't invite Danimal just to pretend I can actually play guitar, but we are about to start. This is the, another episode of the Chips Festival, and uh, my name is Kenobit, and today I am very, very, very happy and proud to have uh, uh, Danimal Cannon performing on our channel. It's going to be... A real uh, fun night, I've seen some crazy visual setup uh, then prepared for us and so I don't want to take any time away from you, I just actually look forward to hang around in the chat and pretend like we can still do uh, cheap shows and uh, welcome to all the international friends uh, you might see some people chatting in Italian but please keep in mind that uh, English is uh, uh, absolutely fine and very welcome and I, I'll be only chatting in uh, in English so uh, let's tell Dan to start and I am just going to disappear Ta -da! I'll remove these things and now the show is ready and I am telling Dan to start and let me fade away bye bye see you later Danny Molcannon on the Chips Festival enjoy Performance of Danimal Cannon is beginning now. Chat rooms are cool and you're cool for being here. Feeling oneness with your fellow humans in a group transcendent experience is encouraged. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the fool. Enjoy the fool.
Hello, everybody. So good to see people in chat rooms hanging out. It's a very cool thing to do on a Thursday. Uh, do, do, do. I'm Dan Mulcahy. I'm playing music on the internet. That's fun. Um, there's definitely a little bit of a lag. I can see the chat. Um, and uh, But since I'm sending to the internet and then Fabio in Italy is collecting it via other internet tubes and siphoning it back into you, I'm getting like a three times delay over here in the chat. But I do see all of you. And uh, I saw Chris uh, talk about MPEG compression. And uh, yeah, I totally am breaking compression ratios with all this. Um, I'm going to play some more music. Um, oh, this mic. Ah, one sec. Uh, I switched that camera off because I wanted to do this really dramatic intro, but I screwed up. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I have all these hotkeys mapped, and I uh, don't know how they work. So it's a house of cards over here. All right, I'm going to play some more music.
I'm a tired boy. Hey, what's going on, Jeff? I miss you, buddy. Jeff plays in uh, Bethlehem, and we went on tour together, and we played a bunch of really fun shows. And yes, uh, I'm gonna play more music after I drink this lovely truly. I'm trying to keep myself slim, you know. It's easy to get fat during the pandemic. Uh, all right, uh, I'm gonna play a fast song for you guys. I hope you like more obnoxious heavy metal because there's more where that came from. Um, let's do the thing. Oh, what is it truly? I will tell you, it is a seltzer, a hard seltzer. That's the hot thing. Um, oh, you probably couldn't even see that. There we go. And this is pineapple flavored. And I uh, tried one at a hockey game, and uh, I really liked it. Anyways, this track is called Roots.
I have a fan on in here, but it's still like really hot. Um, funny story about compression ratios, by the way. Uh, yesterday, I was using an encoder that actually looked a lot better um, than this one. However, we found out after about five minutes of streaming uh, while we were testing that it would say encoder error and totally screw up and mess up the stream. So we had to switch back to the X264 stream if you guys are weird OBS nerds like I had to become to do this sort of show. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to do a thing because there's another fun fact when I was doing the dozens and dozens of hours troubleshooting putting this together is that DSLR cameras like that one right there um, shut off after half an hour so they can pay less taxes um, and so you have to reset it every half hour and so for this song I'm going to reset it during the intro hopefully it'll work real good so yeah let's do that
Oof. We're partying now. How's everybody doing? Hey! Ezzy, I miss you. I miss so many of you. I can't wait to like play a real show, although I did have some fun putting some of this stuff together. Um, <clears throat> I had uh, just enough equipment that I could string together through like wires and well, yeah, you use wires for things. Sorry, I can't talk right now because I'm all like, what's the word? Like adrenalized. I got lots of adrenaline in my system. I'm not very uh, good at the talking right now. But I have uh, two more songs that I'm going to play for you guys. Um, and uh, hopefully they go well. So we'll see. Uh, this track is called Kronos.
Oof. So, uh, about the GIFs, by the way, um, I saw you uh, referencing my GIF folder, and I will have you know that I actually took some out. I had, uh, I searched blingies, um, because I think blingy uh, GIFs are the most hilarious thing on the planet, and I, uh, I had all these Lord of the Rings weed smoking gifts that <laughs> they were wonderfully obnoxious, but I didn't want to uh, use them on uh, Kino Bits channel because I didn't know if that would be a little too far. So I uh, <laughs> I, uh, I removed those for this show. Unfortunately, I just wanted to play it safe. All right, I got one more song for you guys, and then afterwards, I think I'm going to do a real short. Q and A. Um, we'll hang out and uh, let's do the thing. Uh, this track is called uh, "Long Live the New Fresh," and uh, let's do it.
Uh, all right, guys. That was my last song. Uh, thank you for coming and hanging out in the chat room like all cool people do. You should totally subscribe or at least follow uh, Kino Bit because he's putting on cool micro music shows. And I am so happy that I was able to do this with him. Uh, thank you so much, Fabio. Um, I, I love you and I love what you're doing for the community. Um, I'm going to uh, take a couple questions after I take like a couple minute break so I can uh, uh, rehook up rehook up some equipment and all that junk um, so stick around for a couple minutes and definitely throw Kino bit some bits uh, or whatever twitch people do I'm still learning how twitch works um, in its entirety I'm mostly a casual observer rather than a uh, hard heavy user so yes chip tune um, so yeah Kino bit if you want to take over for a couple minutes I am going to take a tiny break um, and then we're going to come back and do a little Q&A and hang out for a tiny bit yes Peace. Uh, let's do that okay so oh thank you everybody for joining in I am not drinking uh, uh, truly which uh, I actually want to try I'm drinking some white wine because I am your stereotypical Italian micro music guy and uh, I am so... Uh, first of all, uh, I love uh, dance uh, war on compression. Uh, his compression was pretty tight, but he managed to break it at some point and that's an achievement on my book. And uh, also, I am so grateful uh, um, of him playing and performing the Chips Festival and I am so grateful uh, to you all. I know I move my hands a lot, it's, uh, it's an Italian thing, I guess. Also, it's, uh, I make up for it with, I make up with hands for my uh, awkwardness when speaking English live in front of uh, people from all over the world and uh, really I am so grateful to, to Dan and to everybody that performed uh, at this festival, this festival is not over, by the way. Uh, watch this space, I'll be... Um, it actually was supposed to be over by now, but I think uh, uh, we'll keep it going for a little more. And uh, yeah, as a Puerto Rican, you understand. Yes, uh, we just move our hands. Uh, but it's cool, I, I like moving my hands. It's like, whoa. I also noticed that I have weird lights and uh, I look really pathetic after the um, great uh, visual show put up by Dan. And uh, thank you so much for all of the beats. Thank you for all of the uh, subs. I am trying to speak with my hands uh, below. Robby Quagliana, thank you for the sub. 19 months in a row. And uh, also, uh, I think uh, in a couple of minutes, uh, Danimal will be uh, taking a few questions. I hope all of them will be about uh, his uh, visuals. No, also about his music, but uh, this is so cool. And uh, he just gave me a nod. So I think I can, we can switch back to him and say, okay, Danimal Cannon, let's switch back to you. And I leave you in the great company of Denimal for a few Q and A's. So let's do it like this. Oh, hey, I'm back. Sorry if there's a tiny bit of lag. What is going on, internet? Oh, it is a beefy mic. This is a uh, Zoom H2N uh, that I use for field recording. Um, my favorite heavy metal bands right now. Um, Haken is a, they're a progressive metal band. They're kind of like if Dream Theater got rid of the parts of Dream Theater that I don't really like that much. And uh, <laughs> uh, they're really killing it. They have a new record that's coming out that's based on viruses, which is 
shockingly on uh, on point. I think they didn't do that on purpose. Um, I do see there are four lights. Um, oh man, it's scrolling fast now and I'm having trouble. Oh no! Feel free to type your question again if I uh, didn't get to it, because sometimes it's hard to uh, do things, read and think at the same time. I'm not a very good multitasker. I'm a good single tasker. Uh, but Haken is definitely one of my favorite. Um, it is very hot in here, actually. I am sweating. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six lights on me right now. Uh, Utica, New York. Was I playing in a retro game bar? Um, I can't remember the name of it. With Mega Ran, I believe. I remember they had very good beer and a slightly uh, less than desirable audio setup, but we made it work and had a good time. Or Utica. Actually, I think we played at Utica College with my band Arm Cannon. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I don't think I played a chip show in Utica, though. Yeah, it was uh, it was like an anime or game convention. Uh, NES music, obviously, yes. Um, very, very much. Oh, so the Game Boy setup. Um, I have two Game Boys. The stand is actually for... Um, the stand is actually for live streamers, and they're supposed to be for phones, but magically, they, um, Game Boys fit into them perfectly. I kind of got lucky and just ordered this really dumb thing, and it works amazingly. Um, I got them because uh, my Game Boys used to lie flat on a table because I play guitar, and I couldn't have them be, like, a visual element to the show. So people would ask me after shows, like, oh, what, where's that sound coming from? And they didn't know unless I physically pick it up during the show and show them, and then they have to trust me. So I like them being a little bit more of a visual element just to show that they're there. And they're also easier for me to use that way. So I found this really dumb dual phone live streaming thing, and uh, I don't know if it exists anymore, but it's crazy heavy duty. It weighs, like, 15 pounds. Um... Let's see. Tips for wave magic logic. Um, figuring out how the wave table scrolls um, took me a really long time. Um, like, if you set it for like three frames, it'll actually only use the first frame, the last frame, and the middle frame. So it would be zero, F, and then, I don't know, probably eight or something. And, uh, and also, I don't know why people would need two phones for live stream. But yeah. Um, that is, uh, and then, so you literally have to do division on your wave channel to figure out what frames are actually being accessed when you manually edit them. It's a really kind of messed up way, but it made sense once I learned it. Um, <laughs> artificial kid, you troll. Um, do I still play with the Hatsune Miku talk pedal? Um, no, it's in a drawer right now. Um, that, I only used it really on one tour. It has latency, which I will tell you is literally the worst thing you could have with a guitar. Um, it's kind of a design flaw toy. However, um, I do work with Vocaloid. In fact, I just did a track um, for something that I can't really talk about um, that has a tiny bit of Vocaloid in it, just as like a vocal sample kind of thing. And uh, I am uh, I'm hoping to do a Vocaloid album, but I'm sure it'll alienate every one of my fans. It'll be fun. Uh, what is the first thing I was into, electronic music or metal? Um, I would say metal. I got into Metallica with the Black Album when I was 12. I had that on tape. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I kind of listened to that album and, like, went down the Metallica rabbit hole, because that's what you do when you're a 12-year-old. Um, and then later on, I got into electronic music. I was actually really into industrial music, like KMFDM and Nine Inch Nails and Stabbing Westward. Oh, thank you, Axel. 
Uh, what pickups am I using in my guitar? Uh, Carvin has their own... Oh, shit. So... This is a Carvin guitar. It's got my name on it. You probably can't see it unless it's close up, but... Um, oh, yeah, because I'm using a DSLR for that, so it would be out of focus if I bring it up close to it. Um, and... Uh, they had their own Carvin pickups before they turned into Kiesel. I don't know if they're still using the same ones or not, but they're kind of the default ones. Um, economy versus alternate picking. I am a terrible alternate picker. I've been working at it for years, and I'm just bad. Um, the software used for the stream. Okay, so it's kind of insane. I have um, my X-Air mixer. Um, oh, you can't really see it, can you? Um, let's see if I can move this closer. Maybe. I don't know. So I have the Game Boys going into a mixer. It's called a Behringer X-Air, which is a digital mixer that has a program that lets me use um, some plugins with it uh, live. So I, I use like a transient filter on my kick drum and separate EQs uh, for everything. And uh, then I uh, take that signal that I use for live shows and I bring it into my... Um, my interface and then OBS actually has um, support for VSTs now so I'm using mastering VSTs I'm using a uh, isotope ozone which is something that I've been using for a really long time um, to actually master my output going to the live stream and unfortunately that ins brings in lag so I had to manually measure the lag uh, brought in by ozone and then put in a manual render delay on each of my input sources, like my visuals and my cameras, so that they actually matched up. Default order at Waffle House. It's funny, I only go to Waffle House when I'm on tour, um, because we don't have any Waffle Houses by us. Uh, Bidet is Master Race. I'm a 21st century clean butt man. Um, I believe that wholeheartedly. I've been using a bidet since, like... Gotta be 2005, 2015, 2016, and I totally flooded my apartment because I didn't put it together uh, correctly, and <laughs> then I uh, flooded the downstairs. It was great. Go to sandwich. Best sandwich ever. Uh, Philly cheesesteak. Um, after eight static, uh, they used to take us to this this cheesesteak place. They, they called it um, like Middle Eastern cheesesteak. Oh no, my camera died. Hold on, one second. There's that thing that I was telling you about, where the camera automatically shuts off after 30 minutes. I should have thought to reset that. But I didn't. Cool, I'm back. Way to go, DSLRs. If anyone knows a workaround for that, I would love to know it. I'm back. It is chiptune, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I had a couple things go wrong, actually, during the set, during when I was playing the track uh, Rhapsody. Um, my Game Boy's desynced, because sometimes, once after, like, one every ten times, when you sync the Game Boy's um, and... They start a like a um, frame or whatever you call it late, and uh, I actually set up for all the other tracks except for that one. Ethiopian cheesesteak, yes, it is Ethiopian cheesesteak. Sorry, I'm all over the place and I'm reading chats while trying to talk. Um, turns out that it isn't a chiptune show unless your gear messes up. And uh, Marjorie, if you have any tips on how to keep my DSLR from turning off after 30 minutes, I'd love to know it. I might do like some magic lantern shit or something. Favorite console to make chiptune on? Um, definitely the Game Boy, because it's what I'm most familiar with. Um, I do love the NES, and I've actually probably studied NES music the most, um, just because I used to cover Nintendo music all the time and break it down. Ethiopian cheesesteak. Oh my god, I forgot about that, and now I'm having wonderful chiptune cheesesteak memories. Favorite games of the last year. Um, so I'm still playing Rocket League, <laughs> like, every day. I used to play with uh, Harley Likes Music and some other people. Um, <laughs> 
I uh, I've been meaning to get Final Fantasy VII uh, remake. I haven't played it yet. Um, I was like sick with COVID or something when that was going on, and I'm playing through Final Fantasy IX right now. Um, I want to get Doom Eternal. Um, I've heard some mixed reviews on that, but I'm a huge Doom 2016 fan. Oh, do I still play Rocket League? I play Rocket League every day because I am just a freak now. I mostly play Rumble. Um, <laughs> and I got into Grand Champ as Rumble. Alright, I'm probably gonna do like two more minutes of hanging out and then I'm gonna go drink some more Trulies and maybe go on a paddle on, a, on my kayak because I bought a kayak this summer so I because I can't hang out with anybody. When I don't use E commands on all the things, what other commands do I commonly use? Um... I mean, I use kill commands a lot. Um, there are certain tracks that I have to um, get more definition in the notes, you, like especially some really fast stuff. So sometimes I'll put kill commands in between notes to get them to sound extra crispy. My favorite truly flavor, um, black cherry and pineapple. Um, but if you're going for the variety pack, um, the tropical one is the one to get. I've been drinking a lot of Truly during this pandemic, and because uh, I literally have nothing to do but sit home and drink and work on this dumb stuff. Um, the best odd time signature, uh, that would be 7-8. I can groove in that all day. Oh, uh, boat life for sure. Hey, Bryface! I didn't see you in the chat. I miss you, bud. Bryface is one of my favorite people in Chip Chip. I don't know what an N163 is. Uh, best ARP table on LSTJ? Obviously, 0, zero. Are you writing under the influence of alcohol stuff? Not really. Um, I'm way better at things when I'm sober. Honestly, when I drink, I just like, or do anything else, I just get tired and just want to hang out and do nothing. So for productivity's sake, I like to stay sober. What's your favorite pulse width percentage? That is a great question. Thank you for Chris. Um, I'm going to go back and forth between 15 and 25 because 50 is just too fat. It's bleh, it, the O sound is just like bleh. I uh, I use it significantly less than uh, the 15 and 25. Usually 15 is for the leads because I like the uh, the nasalness to cut through. And then um, I like the, 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 the bite of 25. It isn't as nasal, but it isn't as O sound as 50 is. You plan on any cool collabs? Um, I am recording guitar solos and guitar leads for C. Jeff's new album. And let me tell you, it's going to be amazing. Uh, C. Jeff runs Ubik Tune, and uh, I'm on a track with Derek Sherinian, um, and I think Stemich. Uh, and Derek Sherinian used to play in Dream Theater, um, and I had to play a solo after him, and I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> they're gonna think I'm bad, because I am compared to that guy. Um, yeah, C. Jeff is killer. Absolutely one of my favorite musicians, hands down. I think Presh Tail is a work of art. Um, all right, I think I'm going to finish up with that because that was not too bad. Um, if you want to follow me on the social media and stuff. Oh, there is one thing I wanted to say is uh, originally when I booked the show a couple weeks ago with... Um, with Kino Bit, um, I was going to put like, I made up this PayPal link so you could donate to me because they're, you know, pandemic finances and stuff like that and kind of like a digital chip jar. But definitely donate to other causes. I think my camera just died again, but who cares? Um, donate to some of the really great causes for some of the stuff that's going on because I'll be fine. Um, and they could use that money much more than I could. Um, Black lives totally matter. Um, my camera died, and I don't really care, but that's okay. Um, 
And that's really all I have to say about that, uh, for sure. Um, you know, I might donate more. Uh, I donated last week to the, the Minnesota Fund, um, and I think I'm going to donate again this week because um, it's crazy out there, and I've been stressed out every day. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, sorry I'm not more articulate, but uh, thank you so much for coming and hanging out at the Chiptune Show on the Internet, and uh, I'm going to peace out, so... Thank you, guys. Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, so, first of all, I want to <laughs> clarify to um, Master and Control uh, perché è diventato un canale in inglese, Fabio. No, this, this, questo non è diventato un canale in inglese, ma questo è uno show internazionale di Chiptune, quindi visto che siamo tutti inglesi in chat e visto che Dan, che suonava in inglese, è americano, si parlava in inglese. I'll switch back to English now. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your time and for your art, uh, Dan. Uh, I want to say that, uh, uh, yeah, we originally uh, talked about donations, but uh, it seems only... Uh, fair and nice that uh, uh, all of the bits uh, you guys donated uh, tonight and all of the extra subs uh, we got from this will just uh, I'll uh, I'll speak to them uh, tomorrow or tonight or whenever he wants and we'll uh, we'll donate everything we made tonight to a, a cause a charity of his choice so thank you very much Then, uh, thank you so much. Uh, if, by the way, if you want to maybe learn Italian, uh, you can follow this channel for uh, some very cool retro gaming content daily, uh, in Italian though. But um, right now I'm going to close up the stream and so maybe let's go find... Uh, Uh, somebody to raid. It's been a very long day for me here in Italy. And so, so maybe I kind of look forward to relaxing now. And um, okay, there is um, a really good friend of mine. He's doing a really weird but interesting. Uh, um, art lesson it's in italian but it's weird enough that i think all of you will uh, enjoy it so say hi to my friend and by the way the guy we're raiding now used to be very active in the chiptune scene in italy like 10 years ago as pira666 so uh let's go raiding thank you so much uh dan thank you everybody for tuning in Um, follow this channel, we will have more shows uh, in the Chips Festival and I love you all and see you very soon, hopefully in real life as well. So let's raid and uh, have a good night or good morning or good afternoon depending on where you are in the world right now. Bye bye!